Welcome to 7 Seconds Quick Tips. In my book, 7 Seconds, one of the chapters in there is called Must Stage Rooms. And the master bedroom and master bathroom are pretty much at the top of that list. So we are in the master bedroom of our Colorado Springs home that we have been staging this past week. So I'm going to talk to you about how to choose the bedding. Again, as we discussed, this is a little bit of a darker house, a little dated. And so when we come into the master bedroom, it's really, really important that we create a look of romance and sort of a haven, something that people can really see themselves relaxing in at the end of the day. So I'm going to focus on the bed and the colors and why I chose them. First of all, the black and white that we've talked about is really important to incorporate in all of the main rooms. And so in here, because the room is not especially large, I needed to create some spaciousness. And so I just got a white comforter. Um, actually, I got this at Ross and you can pick this up, uh, you know, for like $35. And um, it's tufted and it's just, it's just very nice and clean looking. And then I picked up a black and white comforter set. Um, a lot of times when people use comforter sets, they use it all together, okay? I split them up. So that's why you're seeing that's a designer trick is to actually have your comforter as white, but then take the elements of another set and put it at the end to provide some interest. And then you'll see I took the shams from this and added it to the back. Now this room, we're in the summer, it's really pretty hot here in Colorado Springs. And when you get to the top level of a home, it can get a little more stuffy. Uh, it can feel really warm compared to your main level and particularly compared to your lower level. So I use colors that are cooler. Now, if it was in the winter, I would do just the opposite. I would actually use warm colors. But here you'll see that I chose sort of a light green and a yellow, which creates an airiness. And then I found some pillows that are the black and white, but have a little bit of a different pattern to them. And so this is, this is how I do this. And you'll see this in my book. I put the, um, the actual shams up against the headboard. And then I choose two pillows in front of that. I choose another two pillows in front of that. And then I center the pillow so that you've got a nice layered look. And that's really easy to do, but it really gives it a nice look. And it looks like you've just spent a lot of attention uh, to detail. Now you'll notice the picture above the bed. I use these pictures in pretty much every house that I stage. And guess what? They are under $10 at Ikea. So I just love these pictures. And so I just added that to the top. I don't need a big picture in here, but I just want something that continues to give it that look and feel of being updated and a little bit of romance with the flowers. So I hope that we have helped you on how to create a designer looking bed. I want to thank you for joining me on this segment of 7 Seconds Quick Tips, and I'll see you next time.